For some Catholics, the idea that a reverent Novus Ordo exists might seem like a very hard concept to wrap your mind around, but they do exist. And I do believe they are extremely rare. Share with me in the comments down below if you happen to attend a reverent Novus Ordo. What would a reverent Novus Ordo even look like? I might have the ordinary of the mass said or sung in Latin. Most of the women will be veiling. There would be a Latin introit. There may even be the asparagus rite. The vestments will be beautiful. You'll be able to sense that something is very different from the Novus Ordo masses that we have all heartbreakingly experienced by watching YouTube and getting a glimpse into some of these parishes and what is happening. You might even see altar rails. You will see people kneeling for the Eucharist. Congregation is gonna be dressed appropriately for mass. Often you'll have even the St. Michael prayer said after mass. This video is sponsored by PrayLatin.com. PrayLatin.com offers Latin prayer cards in various formats, making it easy to learn and share basic prayers in Latin. Some prayer cards even offer phonetic pronunciation guides to help with correct pronunciation of the sacred language. For much of my life as a Catholic, I attended the Novus Ordo. Every single one of my sacraments was completed in the Novus Ordo. My children were baptized in the Novus Ordo. I was married in the Novus Ordo. So it's not as if the Novus Ordo hasn't played a significant role in my life as a lifelong Catholic. I've shared in previous videos, and I'll link it for you in the card above and again in the description box below, why we eventually left the Novus Ordo. Let me preface this video by saying this video is not intended to be a us versus them type of a video. There are plenty of Catholics, faithful Catholics, who attend the Novus Ordo, who attend a reverent Novus Ordo, and are on fire for the Lord, are deeply serious about their faith. This video is in no way implying or suggesting that because you attend the Novus Ordo, you're somehow inferior to a person who happens to attend the Latin Mass. You can attend the Latin Mass and your faith life can be a total train wreck. So I don't think that attending one or the other, that automatically makes you a better Catholic. This is just my opinion on why I think there is a problem with the mindset of a reverent Novus Ordo. In my humble opinion as a lay Catholic, I don't think that the Novus Ordo is intrinsically evil or disordered. Let me just, I know some people might be apoplectic at that. I do know that the majority of Novus Ordo masses, and because of the pandemic, we got a glimpse into seeing what has been happening in these parishes. You might be in the Unicorn Novus Ordo Mass and have a beautiful experience. So the idea that such a clown show exists is probably very hard to accept or to wrap your minds around, but they do exist. And because of the pandemic, we were able to see what is happening in some of these parishes. And some of these priests are unapologetic in what they are doing. And 100% of the time, it is happening in a Novus Ordo parish. In theory, the Novus Ordo can be celebrated in a reverent way. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think I'm totally off the reservation on this idea, but it can be done. I would love to hear your comments down below. And please, as always, keep your comments charitable the comments are monitored. Anyone who's looking to be uncharitable, I am not going to get into a battle with you. So if you want to be charitable and have a conversation with me, please leave your comments down below. I wholeheartedly, listen to my words, I wholeheartedly believe that the traditional Latin Mass, the Tridentine Mass, is superior in every single way to the Novus Ordo Mass. The most reverent Novus Ordo Mass will never be able to come up to the level of the Latin Mass. I'm not talking about the people. I'm not talking about Father. I'm talking about the Mass. But let's be honest. The only thing that separates the Novus Ordo being from a clown show to a reverent Novus Ordo Mass is the priest. He gets to decide. Father gets to decide on whatever the whims are of that particular priest on that particular Sunday on how he wants to celebrate his Mass. Now the rubrics that are set up for the Novus Ordo absolutely have an outline where it can be done reverently. So you have to wonder about these priests who are choosing to be disrespectful to the Lord, who are choosing all these ways to celebrate the Mass as a reflection of their own personalities. 
but we should really look at the word allow, that it is allowed to be celebrated in a reverent manner. It only is going to happen if the celebrant, if Father chooses to celebrate the Mass in a reverent way. And the same rubrics that are setting up the Mass to be done in a, in a reverent manner are also allowing these goofy expressions of the Mass to take place. How many times have we seen the Raft Mass, we've seen Clown Mass, we've seen Father dressing up in a sports team. That's, his, that's what he's wearing up on the altar. Not even to mention the hordes of extraordinary ministers and all the madness that is exclusive to the Novus Ordo. The way that the rite was set up allows for this stuff. It allows for Father's personality to be on display. Is that the point of the Mass? What happens is the quality of the Mass that you happen to attend at whatever city that you're at, whatever country you're in, whatever parish you happen to be able to attend the Mass is 100% done at the whim of Father. Does that sound like what should be happening in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass when it is supposed to be 100% about the worship of Jesus Christ? That we should allow the Mass to be manipulated depending on what Father wants to do that particular Sunday? And even if you happen to have a priest who celebrates the Mass in the most reverent way possible, he can easily be moved to a different parish. If his bishop happens to think that he needs to be relocated, something happens, priests are not placed in a parish for the entirety of their priesthood. They move around. So you might have a very reverent priest. You might even have a very reverent bishop, but nothing is set in stone. They have a visiting priest coming to celebrate the mass like we did, where Father was telling the congregation, this is when we were attending the Novus Ordo, that using a Ouija board is perfectly acceptable as long as you're using it for fun and entertainment purposes. In what world is this appropriate? You know, a few examples from my own story as a lifelong Catholic. I used to be so stressed out going to Mass. My husband was beyond stressed, walking into Mass, wondering who's celebrating. Okay, well, this particular priest, he happens to celebrate this way or he does this thing and just trying to keep up with what was gonna be happening in the Mass to begin with. Not to mention all the things that happen with the laity that are around you. Worried constantly about what liturgical abuses we were going to witness, what we were gonna to have to explain in the car ride home to our children, what was appropriate, what wasn't appropriate, what Father actually meant, or what we hoped Father meant by what he said. We rarely had the opportunity to go into a Novus Ordo Mass. And we've attended Mass in countless parishes in two different countries, endless states. I can't even tell you. My husband's been a Catholic all his life. Same for me because we never knew who was celebrating Mass that particular day. And if you travel, if you happen to go to a different parish or what have you, you don't know the style of what the parish priest is going to be doing. You don't know what, how he woke up that day and how he plans to offer the Mass and what he's going to allow. We've been in parishes where Father will just go ahead and sit down and allow the laity to distribute the Eucharist. And this was not an elderly priest because I know we always get comments like that. Well, what if Father can't do it? And he would sit down and let Susan from the parish council distribute the Eucharist. And it's no wonder that 70% of Catholics who attend the Novus Ordo have a disbelief in the real presence. When you have extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion standing shoulder to shoulder with Father distributing the Eucharist, or in the example I just gave where Father sits down, it's no wonder Catholics who attend the Novus Ordo struggle with believing in the real presence. Even witnessed a laywoman during the consecration at a Novus Ordo Mass. She was in the tabernacle doing whatever she was doing with the Eucharist. We have gotten so lax and so accepting of these types of behaviors by laywomen, laymen, who are just so comfortable with touching the Eucharist during the consecration of all times. And Father doesn't even bat an eye and allows this, this stuff to be happening around him. What does that tell our children? What does that tell Catholics? What does it tell people who are discerning should they come into Christ's church when so little reverence is shown to the Eucharist? Point is, is even if the Novus Ordo is done as reverently as possible, it's completely at the whim of Father how it's going to take place. And there is no certainty 
from week to week, parish to parish, country to country, what you are going to get. That is not the case with the Latin Mass. You have a Mass predicated on what Father wants, or worse, on what lay people want, how they want to orchestrate the Mass. And we have personally seen this happen. Every time I've witnessed it, it has been a lay woman directing Father as to what he needs to be doing during the Mass. This fundamentally changes the way people see the priesthood. When you have lay people directing the priest as to what he needs to be doing. Share with me in the comments down below what your thoughts are on that. How different it is. How different the Latin Mass is on that particular level where Father is irrelevant. His personality is irrelevant. He's not putting on a show. He's not trying to entertain us. I don't feel like I'm ready to watch production happen. I am at the foot of the cross at Calvary. That's where I am. I don't have to jump lines. I don't think about what Father is going to do or what he's going to say. I don't have to think about anything because the Mass is exactly the same week to week, parish to parish, state to state, country to country. It's exactly the same. The homily might be different. That's fine. But every other part of the Mass is going to be the same. And there's comfort in that. There's comfort in the routine, in the tradition of the Mass. It's not something that is reinvented whole cloth every single time we go to Mass. I don't have to hold my breath anymore in the Latin Mass. It's not because I'm a better Catholic. It's not because I have done anything else to make myself feel like I'm all puffed up because I happen to attend the Latin Mass. It's because I don't have to think about anything other than worshiping Christ. I'm not worried about anything other than being in a state of grace and being there with my family and with the people that I attend Mass with in my community to worship Christ. Now, I know that there will be someone that will say that should be how it happens in the Novus Ordo. And I agree wholeheartedly with you. That should be the case. But it's naive to say that that is the case. Again, I have been Catholic for nearly 50 years, and I've only been attending the Latin Mass for five. So you do the math as to how many Novus Ordo Masses I have witnessed in my life, and how scandalized I was, how scandalized my children and my husband have been at the Novus Ordo. The reverence of the traditional Latin Mass is not predicated on Father. The traditional Latin Mass doesn't give us an allowance within the rite to be reverent if you so choose. The reverence that is shown in the traditional Latin Mass is the foundation of the Mass. There are no allowances for Father to get creative, to show his personality, to put on a performance or a show for us. It's not something that Catholics should have to fight for, much less be something that is given to us by the whims of whatever particular priest we happen to have in our parish that Sunday. A reverent Mass. The traditional Latin Mass is our birthright. Sons and daughters of Christ and his church. Next up, I'm going to share the video where we discuss why our family finally left the Novus Ordo. I will see you in my next video. Take care and God bless.